My name is Jennifer Heinz. I am a physician assistant certified in the state of New York. I have my bachelor's degree in biology from the University of Stony Brook on Long Island and my master's degree in physician assistant sciences from a joint program between Seton Hall University and the University of Medicine and Dentistry in New Jersey. I've been in clinical practice for 10 years, uh, the last seven of which I've been happy to spend here at Middletown Medical. Uh, my primary care practice has uh, formerly been in our main office in uh, Middletown itself. However, I'm happy to be helping the practice expand its care to offer primary care services through our office in Chester in New York. I will be practicing there three days full time and I'm happy to be seeing new patients as well as some of the patients who've been familiar with me from the past. I like to think that my practice focuses on whole patient medicine. Uh, the main goal of primary care really is preventative care and getting to know a patient and building a personal and professional relationship with a patient is very, very important to that. Understanding the reasons why they take a certain approach to their disease state helps me to help them manage their disease state better. I feel like physician assistants in Middletown Medical as a whole are a great value to the practice. Uh, we have many that serve in our urgent care and I'm happy to do primary care by appointment and also offer some urgent care hours in our Chester office as well. Whereas my former practice was in a very, very small uh, practice, one physician and myself, I'm really happy to have been able to join Middletown Medical because we offer many different subspecialty care. Um, we have cardiology and pulmonology and many other subspecialties available to us at any time. If a patient is in my office and there is something I feel a specialist should evaluate, it is as easy as me picking up the telephone and speaking with that consultant, sometimes even able to accommodate a patient on the same day with an appointment if necessary. Uh, that kind of team approach to a patient's care can really, really be valuable, not only for us as practitioners, but for the patient because they can really feel that they've accomplished a lot with each office visit, which I think is really important to a lot of patients now because our lives are so busy and they want to feel like they've served a purpose by coming to their visit and feel like they understand what's going on with their body and are headed in the right direction with their care. Chester, we've, we've seen as an area where there was a lack of resources for patients, particularly for urgent care visits. And so the office was started as an outreach to provide walk-in services for patients there. And as we've continued to learn since the office has been open, uh, there's a need also for primary care. Patients who are coming into our urgent care center there who might not have a primary care physician um, and really are in need of that service. And so now we're happy to be able to also offer full-time primary care services there. We will have somebody there serving that area five days a week and I'm happy to be a part of that. What drives me to want to help people is a desire to help people understand what might be going on with their body, not to have a symptom and feel confused about what's going on and to be able to help them be diagnosed but also to understand why their body is doing what it's doing, why it responds to the medications that we're prescribing, and the things that they can do outside of simply using medications to really make them feel better. Things they can modify in their diet or their lifestyle that can complement or even take the place of a medication in some places to help with their disease states. Um, I think that physician assistants have the luxury of being able to take time with their patients and explain um, in terms that make sense to people what is going on, uh, what is wrong, how they can become an active participant in their care and not simply just take a medication or take a prescription or do a test to feel better. I think any healthcare provider needs to have a good balance of empathy and sympathy for patients to be able to find somewhere in their own personal experiences, either in their families or in their personal life or in taking care of other patients that makes them really identify with what that particular patient has going on in their lives because empathy makes a person understand what another person is going through. And to sympathize with what situations bring a patient into the office and what other constraints might be going on in their lives that make it possible or impossible for them to be able to meet the expectations that their healthcare provider has for them. I'm really happy and excited to be participating in our famil familial hereditary cancer screening program, um, where we are offering patients the opportunity to identify risks for particular cancer types, and we are offering testing and uh, a high-risk preventative program to help 
guide preventative care and prevent more cancers and detect more cancers early, specifically as it relates to breast and ovarian cancer syndromes and colon and uterine cancer syndromes. The first step we are offering to all of our adult patients it is simply a survey, a series of yes or no questions that a person answers based upon their family history to identify whether or not there are high risk patterns there. Uh, if a patient is identified as having a high-risk family history, uh, the process of testing, which is a simple blood test, is described to the patient and discussed with the patient, and with their consent, the blood sample is obtained right in our office. Um, authorization is obtained from their insurance companies to run the testing, and then when the results are available, the patient is recalled for a one-on-one -on -one discussion with their medical provider about what the test results mean. And even patients who don't have a positive genetic reason for having this family history are still enrolled in that high-risk program, which means they still get particular attention as it regards those particular cancers to do more in-depth preventative measures to detect early any cancer that might occur for them. If an individual were to test positive for a genetic mutation, putting them at a higher risk for cancer, a personalized plan for prevention would be designed for that patient. Um, an outline of what tests need to be done and at what times those tests need to be done based particularly on that individual's family history and genetic test results. So I have been happy to participate in the development of our Coumadin Clinic, which is based out of our Middletown office. It's currently being managed by other physicians who practice primarily there as I have transferred my care to the Chester office. But our Coumadin Clinic offers a service to all patients who are on Coumadin as a blood thinner. It is available four mornings per week. Um, and it is as a walk-in service to our patients in our Middletown office and from the Chester area who can make the trip to our Middletown.